today. The month of March is filled with a whole lot of madness. You know what we're talking about, basketball. But maybe you're not into basketball. So what do you do? Maybe you turn to a really good book. That's right. Our mistress of mysteries, Ooh. Carol Barrelman, is back. Carol's an English <laughs> professor at Alverno, and she reviews books for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. So make sure you check her out um, in her column this Sunday. Yes, right? yes. You like that, Mistress of Mysteries? I like the Mistress of Mysteries. I think I'm going to have a t-shirt made. Yeah, I think yeah. you should. There yeah. you go. That would fit. <laughs> it would fit. It would be perfectly. You know, some yeah. people wear titles that they don't deserve, you know, or t-shirts yeah. that they haven't earned. <laughs> yeah. That, I think you deserve. I think I could earned that one. That was yes. yours. Yes, yes. Um, excellent. Let's talk a little bit about um, March Mystery Madness, as you're calling it. Um, these are books that, that truly have I'm guessing really good pacing. Yes. The mystery is all about that, right? Yes, really good pacing. And I always try to pick ones that I think have interesting or quirky female characters because I know we have a lot of women that watch the show. We have a lot of men too, but I always like to try to adjust what I pick for our viewers. And um, these all four mysteries I think that I picked today, there's a little madness in them somewhere okay. in terms of their main characters, mm -hmm. which I think makes them really much more Great. fun to read, much more fun to read. Yeah, okay. I like that. So the the first one is The Passenger by Lisa Lutz. Yes, now, and actually this is publication day for this book too in a number of places, but this is uh, really funny. Lisa Lutz wrote a uh, series of comedic novels by this called The Spellman Chronicles or something like that, and they were hilarious, very funny novels, and she's this is a standalone, and it opens with her husband dead at the bottom of the stairs, and her saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> and mm, then, I'm but, clean. But, you know, she's saying it in a way you're like, I don't know. <laughs> and um, so it's got kind of an edge to it, but it's, um, it's very, very good, very fast read. She, has, she flees instead of, you know, calling the police, which, of course, yeah. why? Makes right. her yes. look more guilty. And so then she guilty. looks even more guilty, and it turns out she has a past, mm. which is... Um, makes for an interesting read and um, and a chiropractor who's giving her regular adjustments, adjustments. right yes, I, I, guess know, that. I know I know yeah all right yeah, so that was fun. the passenger that's the passenger so that's a good one what that's about out one. of the blues out of the blues is based on you probably heard this story at some point the myth that Robert Johnson the blues player in order to make himself a better um, guitarist he makes a deal with the devil mm -hmm. and he goes to this very famous crossroads yeah. in Mississippi or Louisiana or someplace in the south and um, he makes a deal with the devil and that story runs all the way through this mystery it's set in modern times it's set in Atlanta the author is um, a police officer in Atlanta or she was for like 30 years so it's really authentic in its procedural stuff so I think anyone who's interested in music and the blues and getting kind of a, a mystery that deals with both of those and at the background is the possibility of you know the things we do to get ourselves where we are. Mm, okay. Really a cool story. The next one, The Big Rewind by Libby Cudmore. I love this book. This book is um, hilarious. It's A lot of people are calling it sort of a comparison to uh, uh, High Fidelity. Mo the movie yeah. with John Cusack was, right, al yeah. was also a, a very popular book by Nick Hornby. This is sort of a girl's version, a young women, woman's version of that book set in Brooklyn. Um, quirky characters. This book doesn't have so much uh, of a fast pace, but it has so many interesting and silly and quirky and witty characters that when you're reading it, you're like, I want to be really slow reading this. It's too much fun to go fast. Do you know what's interesting? When I walk through a bookstore, a lot of times it's it's the look or the feel of a book Isn't that, that gets great? me. And this one, like for some reason, this is one that I would pick up just because of the look of the book. Yeah, the look mm -hmm. of the book, yeah. the feel of the book. Well, I Well, and the, the murder is the, um, the main character mm -hmm. makes mixtapes, even though it's set now. She's like <laughs> really people still make. Oh, that's, that's what so I said sweet. in my review. Do people still make mixtapes? They should. I think so too. Does anyone even have a tape player anymore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I do. A oh, well. of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, I'm coming I, over. Let's make well, a mixtape. Let's, let's make a mixtape. Mix let's do a morning blend mixtape. Yeah, right. <laughs> but so anyway, the, the the murder, the clues to some of the murder of this one neighbor in a, in Brooklyn is a, this mixtape. But it's, if you're oh, okay. if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, this is your You'll book. Love it. It's even though the main character is only in her 20s, she's got a nostalgia. She's a hipster. She has a nostalgia for the 80s and 90s. So it's full of references to songs and music. Okay. Um, of That's uh, my, my time. You also <laughs> picked The Waters of Eternal Youth. Um, I picked this one because I know some of our, our viewers are not into sort of the darker or the comedic. This is a straight up 
classic Agatha Christie kind of mystery um, set in Venice. And if you want to travel, I know you're doing some staycation stuff today. Yes. This is a fabulous book to read. Make you feel mm. like you get away. Oh my gosh, it's just immersed. You can smell the chrysanthemums because Venice is known for <laughs> oh, chrysanthemums. Yeah. It's a great book. I love yeah. that. Those are some really good options. Good so those are great suggestions and mm -hmm. people can find those on your website too. Yep. If they visit you at carolbarrowman.com, they can find you on Facebook, find you on Twitter, find you on Goodread. <laughs> and find me in Tosa. Find you in Tosa. <laughs> Send it around, the whatever, block, around the by block. Our producer. <laughs> We're giving away the big rewind. I'm glad you picked that book to give away I today. It would be yeah. A, yeah. That's really fun. I've got my notes in it too. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. caller number seven can see your notes and win a copy <laughs> of the big rewind. So call us at 414-799-4444. Always great to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Carol. Nice, nice Thank to be you here. Thank you so much.